Vicky Leaks for robocalls. What a bunch of amateurs. As political dirty tricks go, they're so high school. It's like painting a mustache on a campaign poster. Now, mudslinging and electoral black magic spice up politics, which, let's face it, can be pretty boring, but whatever happened to dirty tricks with some style and imagination without relying on technology to cheat? Sir John A. Macdonald and the other fathers of our nation bought votes outright with cash, appointments, food, bottles of whiskey. Don't you wish that still happened? We'd all be rich, employed, fat, and tipsy. Preachers used to warn you'd go to hell if you voted conservative. A soldier was once offered a trip to the Western Front if he voted liberal. The Americans really know how to fight dirty. In 1828, John Quincy Adams offered proof that his opponent, Andrew Jackson, murdered and ate people and that his wife was a whore. Jackson replied that Adams had been a pimp for the Tsar of Russia. Jackson won. The pimp beat the cannibal. In South Carolina in 2000, a Democrat whisper campaign had John McCain fathering a child with a black woman and his wife becoming a drug addict. Now that's what I call a dirty trick. None of this computer nonsense. No wonder voter turnout is dropping. Well, here's a trick I'd like to pull on politicians. Mike Strobel for Sun News.